Good morning. Uh, welcome to the Everything's Broke Garage and Tales of Catman Drew. Um, been thinking a lot, got a couple of ideas or stories. One <laughs> kind of sticks out. Uh, Burlington County, New Jersey, Burlington County Landfill bought two D6, I can't remember what the daughter was. They were the high sprocket, they were the newer style, D6s. And they liked me. I got I went I got to go there quite a bit. Not that I was happy about it, but yeah, whatever. They liked me and they were cool, so anyway, then so you got these two D6s. And I had been out on them a couple times, minor things, adjustments and whatever, nothing really major. Well, one of them, the complaint, I don't know what the complaint, no, that's right, I went out to do a D service. Now, a D service is every oil, every filter. So you drain all the fill, flu, fluids, replace all the filters, refill it back, you know, with all fresh, sample all the compartments, and it goes back to work. Fine. <laughs> So I'm draining the oils, and the transmission holds quite a bit. I forget how much it holds, but it was like 20 gallons maybe, uh, 15 gallons, whatever. It's quite a bit of oil in this, 30 weight oil in the trans. So I'm taking, I'm draining the oil, and there's a little magnetic screen. It's like a little tube about this long. Got a bunch of magnets, round magnets, and there's like a little mesh screen, and the oil has to pass through that before it gets to the pump. Well, I pulled it out, and it's packed. I mean, packed with all kinds of metal, snap rings, you name it, cotter pins. They were in there. That was a mess. So I called my dealership or my, you know, the office, whatever you want to call it. And for some reason, I got talking with my branch manager at the time. I don't know why he was the one I was talking with. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I got him on the phone, and I said, yo, we got to pull this transmission out for this D6. It's, you know, it needs to be rebuilt. I'm going to bring it in. And he kind of got a little snippy with me. And he says to me, well, how do we do that? You, sh you got you to fill it back with oil and hook gauges to it and troubleshoot it. I'm like, what? Yeah, we can't second guess you. That's what he said to me. I'm like, okay. Well, I've already been working at this company in the field service probably 15 years at that point. Quite a few years. And I know, I know my, my way around cat, pieces, cat equipment, all pieces of equipment for that matter. But I'm not stupid, I'm not dumb. I didn't, get, I didn't start this yesterday, if you know what I mean. And here, I'm a technical field specialist in the field telling my management that I need to pull, I need to pull this transmission. And they don't want to take what I say over the phone. I, okay, no problem. I hung up. And I'm thinking to myself, what is going to be, what's the pressures, taking, checking pressures going to tell me? Nothing. The machine operated normally. One, two, three gears, forward, reverse. Steered right and left. There's nothing else. There's nothing to check. The, as far as I'm concerned, the pressures will be normal if I put the oil back in and do all this. So what do I do? I gather up all the pieces and the magnetic screen. I don't know if I had a plastic bag or I wrapped it in a towel, whatever. And I drove back to my company and I went into my branch manager's office and I put it on his desk. And he's like, what is that? I said, that's the transmission from Burlington County's D6. Oh, I guess we got to pull it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey, whatever, you know. It made it fun. But, uh, yeah, that was, a, that was an interesting job. I did pull the transmission. Supposedly, from what I remember, and it's been a while, something about... Speed clutch number three had some kind of a, a recall or a service letter or update, whatever. 
So that's what happened. They had to go through the transmission and do whatever this update was because it, it was causing problems. Now, the other D6, I never had to deal with that one as far as the transmission is concerned. I don't know if it ever had a problem or not. But, um, yeah, it was kind of a weird story. But anyway, thanks for listening. And I'll uh, get back to you with another one. Uh, well, like and subscribe to Everything's Broke Garage. And Tales from Catman Drew.